Seven years later, several failed attempts later, ten aircrafts later, and his dream to fly has not diminished. Today, Gabriel Nderitu is out to prove that he is improving his workmanship. Where, where? Every failure has brought new lessons. He believes these will elevate him to be a pioneer manufacturer in Kenya or leave him trying. The first one was uh, started in 2007 and completed in 2009 and uh, was tested in uh, 2010. Since then, we've done about 10, since that first one. And now this is the 11th one. This one has been tested in Moranga quite a number of times and uh, we are trying to correct the defects that we saw. First of all, it was overweight before. We've tried to make it lighter by building lighter wings. And just like the numerous times before, a crowd had formed, anxious to see a potentially historic moment. This time, though, what was different is that his two daughters were part of the crowd. <laughs> We let Gabriel Nderitu be the judge of how the trials went this time. Our biggest challenge is that uh, we need an engine uh, which we know and which costs 2 million shillings. It, the engine alone, nothing else. Some may argue that it is about time the IT specialist ventured into other exploits. Not so for the man who believes he will one day fly. Salim Bilu, Sunday Live.